I've heard it my whole life. You buy a pair of leather boots, shoes, and you got to break them in. My question to you is, and let me know in the comments below, are you breaking the shoes in? Are the shoes changing to fit your feet? Or are the shoes breaking you in? Are your feet changing to fit the shoes? If you're thinking about doing barefoot shoes, bare minimalist shoes, go watch other videos. Go watch, there's tons of testimonies on that too. There's tons of information on YouTube about that. But you guys were wondering what brands I wear and where do I get them? So I'll be showing these brands and then I'll put the links in the description box below so you can just go to their website. And I'll put links to other brands down below too because these aren't the only ones. So like I've said, I have these, these shoes have changed my life mostly because it helps with me correcting my posture and, and I, my feet are stronger. But if you're gonna transition to barefoot shoes, minimalist shoes, uh, I would highly advise you go walking barefoot or in these shoes regularly, go running, uh, build your feet up, get, get your feet stronger. Like your arch should be strong. It should be fine on its own. You don't need arch supports. You don't need the cushiony shoes. Uh, just get those feet strong because the stronger feet you have, the better they can sp support the rest of your body. And if you've been to chiropractors and stuff, you know your feet help dictate the way your rest of your body is aligned. Once again, I'm not giving medical advice. I'm not allowed to do that on YouTube. Just do your own research. It's not that hard. A lot of these carnivore diets or shoe videos, you can, um, you can watch or listen to these videos while driving down the road. Most of them are just talking videos like I'm doing right now. Just before you start driving, you pop a video on, you listen to it while you're driving, you know, your 30 minute drive to your brother's house or wherever. So I've transitioned to all minimalist or barefoot shoes, except for two pairs that I still have. Uh, the one pair of shoes that are still normal are my mountain biking shoes. They are 510s, uh, 510. Start making some minimalist shoes, barefoot shoes, that would be great. The reason I still have these is because these are designed to stick to my flat pedals <laughs> on my mountain bike. They are grippy on the bottom. Uh, gotta have that, gotta have that, can't be sliding around. I've tried other shoes, they just don't stick like these do. So I'm still hanging on to these toe pinchers for now until something comes out, hopefully soon. The first pair of shoes I bought are barefoot shoes and they are the Zero brand. Let's see if I can get a... These are, have a five millimeter sole. They are very thin. These are designed to they are completely flat. They are designed to not have any support at all whatsoever, not even cushion. They are only for protection for your feet if you're running on gravel with thorns and sharp stones and stuff like that. Uh, these are the ones I run in. I uh, see they have the wide toe box. But yeah, they are completely flat. I like them, great running shoes. Keep your feet strong. Zero really believes in not having any comfort for your feet make your feet strong is their, their, is what they believe in. The second pair of shoes I bought were actually boots uh, for work and then working outside in the winter. I hate wearing shoes. If I don't have to wear shoes, I won't, especially boots. So I only usually wear these when in cold weather. But these are the Lems Bowler Boot. On You can find these at lems.com. There we go. So lemsshoes.com. These are the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn. They have the wide toe box, a little dirty, probably got dog poop on them. Your feet have room to be wiggling in and there. They have, I think a 12 millimeter stack height. So, and these are all zero drop, right? There is no, there's no heel. The heel isn't higher than the toe. So this is 12 millimeters, your foot is flat. These have a bit more cushion more comfortable to wear they aren't as harsh my dad uh, he bought a pair this spring i uh, started wearing them for work he loves them these are the shoes i was talking about in that last video where his feet now have color in them again <laughs> he he loves them he, he bought one pair for work then he bought another pair this color just to wear uh, you know for good and then he has a black pair for church 
and, and he still has a pair of his old work boots that he might wear out in the mud and stuff, but he hates it every time he puts them on. The last pair I wear uh, for work and for good, I have two pairs, are actually not necessarily barefoot or minimalist shoes per se. They do have that those attributes. They're actually water shoes designed for water sports like kayaking, boating, that type of stuff, fishing. Uh, they're the Astral brand, and you can find that, let's see if I can get, you can find these uh, on uh, astraldesigns.com. I love them, very breathing, breathable shoes. They have holes in the front for water drainage, <laughs> holes in the back fabric for water drainage. Uh, I think they have like a 10 or 12 millimeter stack height. These do have some bit of an arch in there, which I don't like. I wish they were flat, but that's what they are. They're still not very thick shoes, still have the wide toe box. And the reason I wear them for good is because I like the look of them. They look, I don't know. I just like the look of them. It's, I guess it's my style. Oh yeah, and I still do have a pair of dress shoes with a heel on it. Uh, and I hate them. <laughs> Uh, I wore them for my sister's wedding and I was very uncomfortable all day. Just uncomfortable. Back, legs were very uncomfortable. I haven't found a pair of minimalist shoes, barefoot shoes that look good enough for dress yet. Someday maybe they'll have them. When you go shoe shopping, zero will be your barefoot shoes, hands down. Lems will have normal shoes, so be careful. Look for that stack height, look for that heel drop measurements. Uh, they will have shoes where the heel is higher than the toe. Make sure you watch out for that. They, Lems has shoes where the toe box is narrower. Um, just, just read the descriptions. Lems is more of a minimalist shoe, not so much a barefoot one. Astral, typically all their, I think most of their shoes have the wider toe box, but they still have that heel drop in some of their shoes. So just be careful when you shop for that. Vivo Barefoot has some of the stylish shoes, but they are extremely expensive. But I'll put the link to their website in the description box below. There are some cheaper brands. There are some other brands out there. There might be some more coming out online. Uh, yeah, happy hunting. Look into it, watch tons of videos, listen to a ton of testimonies. Um, shoes are not a cheap thing to buy. It has helped. People keep saying they have less knee pain, less hip pain, back pain, stuff like that. When they wear zero drop shoes, flat shoes. I'm done rambling now. Enough with the shoes. I'm CJ. This is the Amish Potato. We will see you next time.